These normal looking family photos changed when people took a second look. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Actually, some pictures aren't just worth words, they're worth a thousand chills running up your spine. Sometimes what ends up on film is more than anyone bargains for. Are these creepy photographs real or fake? That's up for you to decide. Number 1. Background Spirit It was 1975 when Peter Bertolt snapped this picture of his wife praying with a mysterious aura behind her at the Worsted Church in England. The figure was supposedly a healing spirit that occasionally appeared. Number 2. Hospital Horror This alarming still came from security footage captured by a nurse. It looks freakishly as if the figure of a hoofed demonic presence was standing atop a patient. Doctors found the patient deceased a few hours after the figure appeared. Number 3. A Grave Situation Even though it looks like an actual child is sitting at this grave in Queensland, Australia, a woman named Mrs. Andrews who snapped the picture was at the site all alone. It was her daughter's grave she was visiting. Number 4. Phantom Preacher On a day that was full of praise and smiles, one churchgoer snapped this photo of the celebration. Upon developing this one, there was a phantom preacher in the corner. Number 5. Sinister Photobomb A Reddit user named GDorf2 submitted this photo of their grandparents in a forum. Notice that creepy face peering out from in between Grandma and Grandpa. He was not part of the family. Number 6. Bizarre Lights This bizarre light formation occurs over the city of Hasdal in Norway occasionally. Scientists have their theories, but no one actually knows what causes it. Could extraterrestrials be attempting communication? Maybe they crave lootfisk. Number 7. Shadows of the Night When two college girls went roaming town one evening, they snapped a photo of their shadows. Look across the street, though. It's as though a ghostly female is standing there. Number 8. Uninvited Guest This horrifying image was taken in Texas in the 1950s. The Cooper family was all smiles when they posed for this, but a body crashing down from the ceiling appeared after development. Room for one more? Number 9. Amityville Horror This was taken in the infamous Amityville home by a paranormal investigator in 1974. The home was the scene of gruesome crimes, and it was said spirits and demons terrorized the previous owners. Number 10. The Whaley House The Whaley family of San Diego died under mysterious circumstances. And now their home is a popular site for unusual activity. The face staring in through the window is supposedly the father, Thomas. Number 11. A Soldier's Ghost During the American Civil War, Confederate soldiers would sleep in the basement of the home in this photo. People believe this to be the soul of a deceased fighter peering up the cellar stairs. Number 12. The Hag of Philadelphia Old City, Philadelphia, offers ghost tours, and one of the spirits tourists learn about is known as the Hag. This long-looking shadow wasn't on the street when the picture was taken. It's the Hag looking ominously. Number 13. Elderly Man An exchange student who studied in Japan for a brief period of time had this photo taken of themselves and a friend. They were shocked to see what looked like an elderly man's face peering in from the right. Number 14. Face at the Window On the day of their father's funeral, a Wukesha, Wisconsin resident took a series of photos of nearby Victorian homes. It appears as though a fiery-eyed creature stared back from one of the windows. Number 15. Interdimensional Portal when a dog owner took their two canines out for a walk along a nearby creek, they returned with an iPhone full of pictures. In one of them, it looked like they stepped into a wormhole of some kind. 
Number 16, happy family. This mother and her son couldn't be happier after moving into their new home in Chicago. But just a few feet behind them, up the stairs, are what appeared to be ghostly figures watching closely. Number 17, Tombstone Phantoms. In Tombstone, Arizona, a man named Ike Clanton, dressed in cowboy garb, and had this photo taken in the Boot Hill graveyard. He was alone at the time, but a fellow cowboy showed up behind him. Number 18, Strange Stains. This fuzzy white orb appeared in a photo taken by a Queens, New York apartment owner. They were taking a picture of the stain on the wooden floorboards below, and this hovering shape appeared. Number 19, Security Alert. While a homeowner was out late one evening, they received a security motion alert on their phone from inside their home. Except no one was there. The next day, this was the only photo taken. Number 20, Oak Grove Ghost. The ghost said to roam this bridge in Oak Grove, Kentucky, was once the wife of an angry soldier who tossed her over the side, killing her instantly. Some people claim they saw her decomposing corpse wandering aimlessly. Number 21. If you've seen any horror movie, then you know the dog always detects the haunting presence of said demon. Well, this little pug was captivated by something he saw floating in the center of the living room. Pack your bags and move. Number 22. This unfortunate photo, which was taken in an abandoned hospital, because of course it was, is enough nope for us to swear off visiting any hospital ever again. We'll heal ourselves, spiritually. Number 23. Did you ever feel the drunken need to just take a breather on someone's final resting spot? Well, this guy did, and the Revolutionary War era grave resident clearly wasn't having it. To that, we say, run. 24. This photo taken at Bobby McKay's Music World nightclub, which is known to be dripping with ghosts, rumored murders, and all that jazz, presents itself as the aftermath of a rude chain smoker. But we know the truth. Ghosts, ghosts everywhere. Number 25. When a smartphone user allegedly accidentally hit the burst feature on said phone's camera, it snapped 10 photos at once. Upon examining the pictures, he saw a Nosferatu-esque figure standing in the doorway. Number 26. During a dim evening tour of Waverly Hills Sanatorium, a tour goer couldn't help but snap a pic in the pitch black room 502, probably hoping to catch a glimpse of something spooky. Once the excited tourist upped the photo's brightness and contrast, horror ensued. Number 27. My mom took this picture on her phone of my little brother and his girlfriend on the night of their homecoming, said one internet user. My brother pointed out the face in the window. Whew, that face is pure nightmare fuel. Number 28. When a girl snapped a pic out the car window on a marsh on Fripp Island, South Carolina, the faint image of a grudge-esque lady appeared. A local later informed her that Fripp Island was known to be haunted. Time to go home. Number 29. Here's yet another horrific spawn of the smartphone burst feature. Taken in an old jail in St. Augustine, Florida, this black and white darling has us throwing our smartphones in the garbage. We're taking no chances. Number 30. This grainy sepia horror show was shot in 1920 at someone's wake. Because photos from the 20s apparently aren't creepy enough, an uncalled-for apparition decided to rear its ugly head. Literally. Number 31. You may have heard of William Hope, as he was a famous paranormal investigator and photographer in the 1920s. We must say his spirit photography really has a jolting effect. And no, this 1920 photo isn't a screenshot from 2010's Insidious. Number 32. When a Twitter user took a photo of his baby on the monitor, well, this happened. The image of his poor baby appeared possessed by Lucifer himself went internet viral. And we can see why. The power of Christ compels you. Number 33. Meet Lady Dorothy Walpole, 
or the Brown Lady of Raymond Hall, as she's been called. When Walpole, the second wife of Charles Townshend, had a scandalous affair, she was banished to Raynham Hall until her 1726 death. This eerie photo was captured in 1936. 34. Just your average teenage selfie, right? There's nothing out of the ordinary to see here. That is, until you notice the mirror behind the subject and the reflection of the ominous, devil-like face staring back at her. Whoa! Number 35. There's something so sweet and touching about this photo. A young girl taking at a picnic table at night. That is, until you notice the spooky figure watching her from a distance. Is that the Slender Man? Can you say creepy? Number 36. While this when-you-see-it picture isn't of the supernatural variety, you've got to give the young man hiding between the two pillars some props. Somehow he managed to pull a face that's so darn devious looking without anyone else noticing. Number 37. When this family decided to use their savings to embark on an African safari, they expected that they would see elephants. What they didn't know was that they would see an elephant whose ear was such an uncanny image of a human face in its profile. Number 38. You know what they say, the family that takes selfies together probably has just had a baby. But seriously, this sweet little photo shoot turns into a nightmare the second you realize that the woman's reflection makes no logical sense. Number 39. This girl decided to snap a selfie when she was waiting for her friend to come out and join her. She had no idea that someone else decided to get in on the photo opportunity. To be fair, she did dive bomb the rear windshield, so she couldn't see him until she turned around. Number 40. When you first look at this picture, it seems like just your average scene of someone's living room. However, if you direct your attention to the pillow on the lower left-hand side of the couch, you should notice a human face poking out. A tad scary, no? Number 41. The first time you look at this photograph of an abandoned children's swing set in the fog, it's kind of spooky, but otherwise a pretty normal photo. That is, until you notice the ghostly figure standing near one of the support poles. Number 42. Who doesn't love a nice little family picture like this one? You can tell they're so close, everyone just seems so happy. Well, except for the person they're sitting on. That's Malcolm. We don't talk about Malcolm. Number 43. The military designed its fatigues in order to make sure that its soldiers couldn't be seen while hiding in all sorts of terrain. Apparently, those locations include the ugly floral printed couch at Grandma's house. Number 44. It's no easy feat spending every single day inside the sewer system, and the folks who work down there should be applauded. Not only do they have to deal with foul smells and even more foul substances, but if this photo is to be believed, they also have to deal with evil clown monsters. Number 45. Why don't you tell us what you really think, newspaper staff? While this has to have been a simple fluke, the fact that the opening letters of each of these columns spells out a certain four-letter word is just too funny to be ignored. Number 46. Which is more disconcerting? The fact that this parenting magazine looks like it's been titled to sell male genitalia or that there's a happy and headless baby bouncing along on its cover. It's equal parts captivating and awful. Number 47. Is there anything cuter than babies dressed in adorable Halloween costumes, like the one this little sweetie's wearing? It's sweet until you look closer and see that a certain hockey mask wearing murderer seems to be fixated on the baby a little too much. Number 48. This is one of the creepiest images and one of the hardest to spot on the entire list. Well, it might look like a photograph of a front loader, take a peek at the spot at the foremost tire. Can you spot the ghost child haunting this piece of construction equipment? Number 49. Everyone knows that musicians Katy Perry and Rihanna are besties, and that's why the paparazzi love to snap photos of the two singing beauties whenever they can. This pap got more than he bargained for, though. Behold the dude laying on the floor under Katie's seat. Talk about being a super fan. Number 50. 
Who doesn't love to pose with their friends in all sorts of photos when the time for graduation has finally come around? Apparently, the answer to that question is the girl who decided it would be more fun to photobomb her two girlfriends with an eerie stare. Number 51. This group of friends was clearly having the time of their lives, and they wanted to capture the moment on film. They had no idea that one member of their party was maybe having a little too much fun. Well, they'll certainly get the memo in a second. Number 52. These men all wanted to share their passion for keyboards with the world by taking a group photograph posing with their favorite instruments. As for the guy in the front row with a handgun, they were just too scared to tell him he went to the wrong meeting. Keyboardists are very inclusive, after all. Number 53. He's not on record about it, but you have to think that Bradley Cooper couldn't have been too pleased to discover that he was being manhandled by strong men everywhere thanks to this unfortunate optical illusion at magazine stands. Number 54. These two girls were waiting their whole high school careers just to get dolled up and go to their senior prom. So, of course, they took a photograph to savor the memories. Unfortunately for them, so did their gothic eyeliner-wearing classmate creepily peering at them on right.